Okay. Okay, so what we've done is we've uh, we've uh, got the, the potatoes all cut up and basically we're going to take and we're going to, uh, they, they've been in a, a water solution. We're going to drain the water off. We've already got the pan seeding up and we're going to take and drain the water off and put the pans in. Or put the potatoes in the hot pans. Basically, what you want to do is you want to allow the pans to heat up. And what we're using, of course, because this is Mad Night Monthly, what we're using are pans that have our bacon grease in them because you want the you want the flavor of that bacon grease while you're cooking up those potatoes. And uh, we don't want to short anybody on that. So you divide up the grease evenly between the two. We've got the flame going so that you can see we're getting these pans good and hot. And then it's just a matter of dropping the, uh, the potatoes in there. And then we're going to put the onions on top of the potatoes and then they're going to start cooking down. And then it's just a matter of cooking them and turning them and watching them as they cook. Only when it splashes on the computer. Wow. Now you know when you're uh, when you're cooking and you're working around hot things, you got to be careful that you don't hurt yourself because you can burn yourself. Uh, that's one aspect that we we'll want to look at when we talk about OSHA and safety and all that nonsense. On the other hand. Uh, be aware that you don't want to be a wuss, okay? You get a little bacon grease on you, it's hot, wash it off. You cut yourself, clean it up, slap a band-aid on it. We don't need to be wusses while we're in the kitchen. This is this is man night monthly. Yeah. Now, here we have onions. These are wonderful onions. The beautiful thing about onions is that onions, when they cook down, they add flavor because they become sweet. So we just want those to cook down. <laughs> Good luck mixing that up. <laughs> and Lucas, a little bit of a uh, little bit of banter here. Um, you know, Adam says, "Be careful uh, how you're going to mix that up." Lucas says, hey, it's going to go down a little bit. Lucas is exactly correct. But don't <laughs> be afraid to spill a little bit over the pan. Again, be a night here. Don't be afraid to make a little bit of mess. And quite frankly, you know, that's what separates the men from the boys. Yeah, and if you got a cut that won't stop bleeding, it's super glue. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Oh, we got these flames here. Cut around. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, heat up a spoon real quick and good. Now, because we're in a guest home, uh, we we so appreciate it, Man Night Monthly, John, and opening up his home, Heidi and John opening up their home. And because we're in a guest home, I'm going to take this extra time that I have to do a little bit of cleaning. But normally, when we're doing Man Night Monthly, um, cleaning's a woman's job, all right? <laughs> so, so when I so when I cook at home, the ladies do the cleaning. I do the cooking, the ladies do the cleaning. And uh, and and you you can take that to the bank. No, that's uh, that's above the law. That's the wrong problem. Yeah, you can't handle the truth. That's yeah. the wrong movie King Kong too. ain't got nothing on me. Yeah, show me that money. Oh, yeah. I heard your name and your wife's name. Who the right? And then I also then I also heard your address and your date of birth and your social security number, so you're fine. You're alright. Okay, so it's just going to take a little bit of time for these babies to cook, so that's what we got to do. We just got to wait and let them cook.
This is where we need smell vision. Exactly. Sometimes they call it picture document format as well. I hope I got a second. I think I got sucked by a Pokemon Yellow. Well, what we need is a We need huge fans. We need to get John Lyons huge cast iron locks. That would give us a lot more options. Yeah, we can one for a deal. Nice. For now. Are they supposed to be crunchy? They should give you a little bit of a little bit of pop, but primarily they're going to be nice and soft. So. The onion helps the flavor, yeah. Basically. This one needs to be more the size of that. Yeah. John, we can get you bigger pans. Don't worry. You know what? Uh, on. Uh, on uh, Where's that Oriental store? It's on 82nd. That I just worked at Foster. Right across the street from Fred Meyer. They'd have a good walk. You need a huge gas tank walk on 82nd across the street from Fred Meyer. Well, you know, it's a good walk. No, there's, a, there's, a, there's an Oriental store just one block north of Foster, and they have. It's a great store. They got good tons of good fo uh, food, and, and they got uh, utensils and blocks and stuff like that. Well, you know, actually. if we make some money off the make what we should invest in buying some, some, yeah. some, you know, some good pants. There's no reason why we shouldn't make some money off the make. Like it. Huh? Yeah. Yes, yes. So, Josh, yes, I mean, it's the 14th. I mean, That's the 14th of July. Because he's mentioning the mantle, we should mention what it is. I, I was thinking that maybe we should send an invitation to uh, Jay Lana. That'd be the manquit on July 14th. Then, of course, when you're doing your uh, potatoes like this and you're letting them cook, you want to do some salt and some pepper. Now, some people have asked me when they look at how it is that I cook, some people have asked, 
How much salt and pepper do I put in? <laughs> and the real issue is, is that normally salt and pepper are according to taste. So it's the taste that you're after. So it's hard to say, put a put a quarter teaspoon, or you know, put this much of that. You, you can't do it that way. That's the way that women cook. Men don't cook that way. Men toss a little uh, little salt, little pepper in there. Stir it around. Check the taste and see how it tastes. And you can take that to the bank. And uh, yes, you can. You can take that to the bank. What does that mean? It's a phrase from above the law. It's the bad guy's catchphrase. That's right. That's worth it. Take that to the bank. And that's how he figures out that he can. Hey, just because he can use it for evil doesn't mean we can't use it for good. Yeah, but what does it mean? It means before the Depression, people used to hide their money and stuff. You guys know what the Depression is, right? Yes. Okay, 19, uh, 19, 1930s, whatever, okay? So before the Depression, people didn't trust the banks. And so they would hide their money under, uh, under their mattress and, and the like. And then after the Depression, one of the ways that the government tried to make people feel safer about having money in the bank was the Federal Insurance Agency that, that uh, insures up to $100,000 money that you have in the bank. So in order to promote the idea that it was safe to put money in the bank, they were telling people that they could take it to the bank because it would be safe there. And that's history, man, night, monthly style. That's right, and that's your uh, that's your uh, piece of history for man, night, monthly. It actually looks better on that now. All right, so we're just letting these cook down. How's that pork? It's loin. It's uh, been in for a half hour. It needs at least another half hour, maybe more. But it's coming right along. I'm just looking at all these onions and potatoes that are falling. I feel so sad for them. Well, you know, you could package those up after we're done and put them in an envelope and send them to Bangladesh. The poor people that can't afford them? That's right. Ooh, I do. Is that something you have to? Is that a paid account thing? Yes. So he does. No, it's not a paid account. <laughs> but you could buy it. You could buy it for fifteen. You can also buy movies and store them on Hulu as well, or Voodoo as well. Now what you want, and as you cook these and you stir them, what you want is for all those flavors to cook in to here, which is what we have happening. And notice as I turn these with the spatula, that you just want to gently turn them and allow the, uh, allow the potatoes and the onions and everything to cook together. 
you know, cooking is much like the art of making love. And you just want to take it slow and easy. Right, Colin? Right, Colin? I, I don't know. I was just going to say, you try to sell that to John as long as you're liable to beat you. Sounds <laughs> good. Dave Parker is a saint. <laughs> it's recorded. <laughs> Now, the question has arisen. Arisen <laughs> indeed. Lame church joke. The question has arisen how do you know whether or not it's done? Well, the way that you know is the same way that you check any other deal. And that is by taking your fork and pushing into the meat of the potato. And that isn't going nowhere, so that's not done. And this one's not going there either, so that's not done. What you want is you want the potato to be able to separate when you push your fork into it. So these still have a way to go before they're, they're, uh, they're done. Regardless of the texture of the potato, whether it's a russet or a yellow or a red potato, it doesn't matter. The same test can be used in order to determine whether it's done or not. So we're just going to let this cook down. We're just going to let this cook down. Our pork roast is cooking right now, and so now uh, we'll take a short uh, we'll take a short break. Hey John, do you have any dry things, towels? Yeah.